Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Arctic Soldier and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys a pretty in-depth tutorial and guide into labs, some tips and tricks that I use to be able to conquer the map and PMCs, loot spawns, and all that good stuff and in between that you guys need to know. If you guys enjoy the content, please make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and you click that notification bell. So without further ado, let's get to the video. Alright guys, so the first thing I wanted to talk about was my loadout that I use in labs uh, strictly because this is what I run on labs. Nine times out of ten, you'll see me running this exact kit the way that it is. So I like to run a Zook 6A. It's the heaviest class armor with the least amount of movement penalties in comparison to the Gen 4 IOTV styled vests in the game. Um, I just like it because when it's heavy, you know, you might not get the full groin or the shoulder protection that the full coverage IOTV Gen 4 gives you, but I just like having the heavy durability, high armor points, and the less restricted movement penalties on my armor. So that's what I run. I run my Zook. Um, nine times out of ten, you can either go in with or without a helmet on labs nine times out of ten. Um, you know, it might save you every once in a while but if you get shot in your head in labs you're probably going to just end up being dead regardless because people just run absolutely op armor uh bp sp6 spp for the as valve vss uh m995 for the m4 and hk and m61 for like the sa or the hunter or something like that so you have those extremely high over pen high armor rounds which are probably just going to destroy you either way um but like i said um you'll either see me running one of these two builds right now so as of now i think this is the best build with the blast mitigation device for the sa58 on eft 70 vertical 120 horizontal and then I think if you put the, the, the wave break suppressor on here, your vertical goes up to 77 and I think your horizontal uh, goes up by a couple of points. But they're still really good builds nonetheless. Um, so you'll see me running those. I run a Triton uh, just to have a couple of mags. I normally run one in, four reserve. Uh, I don't run this many grenades normally. Uh, it'll either be two or three grenades because initially if you're playing on labs, you'll come across more grenades. The more you kill players and the more you kill raiders. And then I'll normally just go on with contacts. A couple sticks of morphine. I'll pop one at the beginning of the raid. Or painkillers, ibuprofen, something. So that way if I do come into contact off the bat. Um, I don't have the penalty of limping while I'm in a firefight. Which will 9 times out of 10 get you killed. Because it slows you down. And the bullets are easy to track you. If you get your legs blacked you can still run out of the way. run out of Get out of harm's way. And continue the firefight or whatever the case may be. Um... I run a CMS in comparison to the survival kit one because it's faster, uh, it's a little bit quicker, I think it's like a 4 or 3 second difference in comparison to the survival kit, and then just a splint because it, it, in my mind personally I think it's a shorter amount of time uh, than the survival kit even though the CMS no longer unfractures broken limbs. You have to carry a splint or an aloe splint in place of the C, uh, survival case with the CMS to fix your fractured limbs and then i just take a salewa because salewas in my personal opinion also are better than ifax in cars because they heal your limbs in one go a lot of times if your limb is just getting repaired from a cms or it's really down on health points uh you normally have to do two ifac heals full ifac heals to get your limb fully restored in comparison to like the salewa which is just one go one shot so that's normally the run out you'll see me running into labs with. All right, so right here we got the main spawn. This is the main frontal area of labs. Um, so right here, I, uh, I normally don't ever get this spawn, but whenever I do, I really like to push uh, towards main Z. So this is main Z right here, and uh, I'll have a link or some pictures to the official callouts that me and my group Slaughterhouse Tyrants use. Uh, so we call this main Z right here. 
just because it takes you to the main parking area um, out of those double doors and then you also have main stairs right down there so a quick tip whenever you guys are first coming in this room um, if I come in here and I hear them coming from the stairs to this open area of main Z what I like to do is I like to open that door right there and I normally run past and peek my head so that way you know I'm not standing there openly peeking like this like waiting to get headshotted um, you know you're able to run past get a quick survey of what's going on before you enter so that way you know you're still moving you're still like I said able to get intel on where they're at um, normally people really don't hold this door it's just a stupid angle um, but whenever I'm going through again I like to pie the corner a little bit wider here because uh, for one whenever you're going through you're able to just you know kind of get a quick quick peek right here because sometimes people will hold the box angle right here and sometimes they'll just be showing out right here on the side of the box you might have a two-man team that's literally set up right in this position you'll have one guy right there watching the corner close there or you can have a guy right there and right here so before that gives me time right here because someone can be set up right here and they're just waiting but you know they're not gonna see me because I'm still on this side of the box I'm, I'm not right in that threshold I'm not in that person's threshold and I'm able to see this guy right here you can reach him you're still pie in the corner they can see you you're gonna be able to see them you can clear that corner and you swing wide and you're already there um, I don't like pying close because boom you can see my gun is up against me and I'm coming off the corner and the guys the guy can see me I'm, I'm dead right here so as you're moving through as I'm moving through apologize um, a good thing is you can either get a grenade and you can throw it down the hall like you see right there kind of whip it down but um, a lot of times I'll take my weapon um, I don't really have to do this much anymore but if you want to line it up you're gonna aim a little bit in front of the air duct here and you're gonna kind of whip a grenade right off the front grenade physics in this game are a little weird and they kind of bounce down and it'll bounce down in this general area so a lot of times if you get lucky your grenade will end up bouncing as you can see like in this general area right here which will clear out a lot of this area if you're not trying to peek and bank a grenade off this wall here so you know right here is a really good spot for you to have a grenade land right there and clear out a lot of PMCs in this general area and sometimes if the PMC is camping right down here the fragmentation in general will just bounce off everything and uh, just completely decimate this area so right here guys this is a good area to check um, so as you're coming through the main Z doors a lot of people like to sit right here uh, a lot of people who really don't care they think they're gonna get the jump on you will aim right here best place to aim is right around here because you can see through the crack of the door and vice versa so a good way to check is you really don't have to come out you don't have to expose yourself to the cardboard boxes you can kind of see them right there you'll see him and you can just bang them up through the door like so that way another quick area to take a look at as you're coming down is this little cubby underneath the stairs uh, a lot of PMCs like to sit there and um, kind of chill out right here and just get a you know quick sight on you so beware that's a place to see right here we got ZL uh, this is the L shaped hallway that leads to Z stairs and main Z and the parking and whatnot so there's really no good way to clear this out you know you can bank an aid off here do whatever I just do a large pie around the corner and clear it out this area right here is a portion of boiler T to the left is pipes in front of me is turtle Right here, we call this scrubber pump because this leads to the scrubber room, which has the scrubby machine right there. So coming through pipes area takes you to the green tube, which takes you to the back of cage light switch area and the cargo medical extract uh, activation. So coming through here, you have your two pipelines that come off of uh, a boiler strip which can either take you underneath manager's office uh, to rock wall pump and other things like that I'll cover that later in the video uh, but this right here I, we called this light switch because uh, a couple of patches ago like the lights would just straight up switch right here it would be somewhat light back here and then just get really dark 
uh, a quick little nade spot. I haven't gotten this down to a science yet, but I was playing with my buddy Dines. Uh, you guys know him probably. He's a EFT content creator, good streamer, good friend of mine. Uh, we were playing and he banked a nade off of these, the set of like wire management things right here. And it's a good nade because sometimes you're able to just, you know, if you, if you do it just right, you can bounce it straight up into that room down there. Uh, probably M67s work the best, but if they travel off the wall, um, as you can see, they'll explode and they'll land in this general area. So it'll get rid of campers that are sitting on the coffee mug handle inside of cage room. Uh, really not so much the guys watching the elevator and stuff like that. But it's a good nade to clear off that room. Uh, a lot of times I really don't like to play this area, this backpack area. There's a backpack extract right there because your bullets, raiders will spawn right here. And your bullets really won't travel through these red grates as well as their bullets and they'll kill you every time. So this is an extract right here. We call this backpack because if you don't have a backpack on, as you can see, we're starting to extract. If you do have a backpack on, you'll have to dump it. So it's kind of like the manhole extract on reserve. Um, so coming on down here, you have medical spiral. And then on the opposite side of the opposite end of the hallway, you have server spiral. So we'll cover that. Um, so move through here. This is sandwich. This is the splitting area between server elevator and elevator and med base spiral. So coming through here, this is where you have the server elevator extract to my left is server spiral right here is the extract for server come through the blue doors this is what we call brown it's it's the other call out uh opposite of green right down here we call this server drop down because you drop down from server room into here and this also leads you to the activation so shortly i will get into the call outs for the uh, announcement, the lady who comes over the intercom and uh, announces the different activation panels for labs. But other than that, that's pretty much the basement. So let's go ahead and start covering some of the rooms. All right, guys, so right here we have a med base spiral. Coming up med base spiral, the first thing that you're gonna see is blue key card room. Uh, now this is a little bit of a difficult area to retake because if you have people that are in blue, like the second you even start coming up the stairs, you're probably going to die if they're holding uh, a particular spot. So right here, they can just kind of chill out here and watch the angle for the stairs. Kind of light you up through the door right there. And as you can see, it's like the second you came up the stairs they can see you it's a little hard to see them through but you'll be able to see them through the crack in the door uh, but if you if you get messed up through blue room door from blue and you're not aware that's nine times out of ten where they're at um, so coming through out of the first floor you have mini T and mini T is a decent area uh, going down you have black light T which takes you out to the main floor. And then down here you have server T. So going back to blue room, blue room is pretty decent. Um, be able to find a good bit of meds and stuff here. You know, sometimes if you come around here, you'll find band-aids and stuff. Coming on in through here, you will find a couple of <clears throat> containers that have medical items. Uh, let's open up this door. You'll find a couple of things that have like medical items so you can search here uh you know you'll find some painkillers and such survival cases um cms kits stuff like that ifax cars um geez all that good stuff coming through here so blue room is a nice place to get meted up if you run out of meds in the middle of a firefight or something like that going down this way we have black and server a black room is fairly decent um, because there's a lot of stimulants in there. So note that if you're stand, if you come in here, you can get tapped uh, through these windows, I believe. Uh, let's try. Let's see. So as you can see, yeah, my bullet went through. Just kind of light it up. 
and you'll get shot through these windows right here. You cannot shoot through these windows, so you can just kind of see if people are in there, vice versa with the other side. Um, you can get tapped through this window right here, as you guys can see, the bullets are going through, and you can get shot up through this middle glass. So don't think that, you know, just because you're playing Ring Around the Rosie, you're going to be fine. But like I said, uh, sometimes you'll find stimulants here, on the chair, on the floor, and stuff like that. You'll find some in the chair there, right on top of these containers of adrenaline, other stimulants, a med box there. You have some that will spawn on this, this gurney here, and then if you come inside here, sometimes they're on the floor here, and also on this bed. So just make sure, you know, if you guys are clearing out this area, if there's anyone in here, you can shoot them through this door, the glass on this door, not here, and through there. Uh, be aware, sometimes, um, I don't know if it still happens, I haven't seen it happen, or I didn't pay attention. But sometimes the server doors are glitched, and if you are a certain distance away, they will disappear. So if you're hiding behind these doors, <clears throat> people will be able to see you coming down the hallway. This is server spiral to my right, uh, my left. Um, a quick place to be cautious of is right up here, guys. Uh, sometimes PMCs and stuff will be uh, hiding up here. So, you know, just be careful. The second you walk in, you're, you're just immediately going to be focusing on this area. I do hold this area sometimes to get like the jump on a squad. I don't camp there, so just be careful as you're coming in. You know, quick look, look up, look around, whatever, whatever. Um, down to the left here is server drop, which is the server activation. Uh, a good place to be able to fight guys right here is on the catwalk that looks into server office. So leading to the back of server office stairs, this is a pretty decent angle to hold because a lot of times you do have the beams from the legs uh, giving you a little bit of protection, uh, well not protection, I guess concealment from their field of view. So if you're able to see, you'll see them right there. They kind of come around the door. Um, be careful whenever you open up this door. Sometimes PMCs will sit right here trying to get the jump on you. So go ahead, open up this door. You'll see them right there. Another neat little spot is right here kind of give yourself a little bit of protection your head is exposed so it's a fairly easy target to see you can kind of get some shots off of here kind of sort of but another good area to hold uh, guys if you're trying to fight players that are like kind of sitting right here uh, you can break this glass and jump up right here and kind of peek through and you'll be able to see them so it's an alternative to you not having to stand right at these doors right here. Uh, a tip that I, you'll see me doing a lot on stream is whenever I'm clearing out the stairwell that's down here, I typically like to throw a grenade and roll with my grenade. So as it's going off, uh, typically I know by heart F1s are three, three and a half seconds. RGDs are now 3.5 as well. I thought there were three. Um, so, you know, rolling with your grenades, clearing out with your grenades while they're pushing. So I go ahead and I start the grenade throw so that way I'm not standing right here and waiting the entire time. I'll just take the grenade and as I throw it, you know, real quick peek over so that way if I minimize my time. I come down as it's exploding because they're still in the process of running. Um, I like to get my grenade as far back that way as possible because people will tend to uh, most likely sit like right here in this general area, either behind the forklift. Or behind here and it's you know pretty hard to see coming down the stairs all the way back here um, so that way all I'm really focusing on as I'm coming down the stairs is this open area and these boxes right here coming through you got server ramp takes you out to hang uh, whenever I'm coming out I really don't check this side I'm more so clear my right first because you have this beam protecting you a little bit, so I'll clear my left, don't see anything. Turn around, check the left, and you're good to go. Uh, sometimes people will hide up in this connex and such, get a little bit of an angle on you. So we're gonna go ahead, right up there is hangar activation. Oh, another quick tip I wanna show you guys. Um, running through, 
Coming out of server ramp is a little bit tricky sometimes because like myself, I find myself doing it. Uh, if you lay right here, you can see PMC's feet. You can see the little toes and <laughs> you can kind of, you know, lace them up. If you can get enough shots, you'll drop them. But, you know, they won't see you because, you know, your level, your flush with the storage racks and they won't see you. So you can, you know, kind of light up their feet all you want. And if you have someone over there, they're going to try and run that way. So it creates a good funnel for them to, to you know, die in. Um, right here is, we call this double dumpster. You have double doors and, you know, you got double dumpsters right here. A uh, common spot for PMCs to sit is right here or right here in this back area. Uh, what I find myself doing a lot to throughout this area is, uh, you know, I'll either come up from this way to the door or I'll do a linear clear through hangar. So come out of hangar ramp, run this way, just surveying all of hangar. Uh, but what I like to do is a quick jump play so that way, you know, I open the door and by the time this door is open, that door is open and they still think I'm right here because they're not paying attention because they're focused on this door, which gives me full access to see, except the left corner, all the double dumps are coming in. So I go like this, open, jump through, and they're still, by the time that door is open and they're looking this way, boom, I'm already right here coming in unless there's somebody standing right there. You know, if that be the case, you can jump over, quick open, quick open, and but you're right here inside a double dumpster, and you have full access. And a lot of times, you know, I'll catch people slipping. They'll just be standing right here, and by the time that they're able to flick over, they're already dead. Going up double dumpster stairwell into fridge T, uh, a good angle to hold is right here. A lot of times, people will head glitch, and they'll be standing right here. It's definitely hard to see them because if you're not looking this way, they'll definitely catch you off guard. As you can see, you know, not ADS, don't have as much room to look. ADS, you have a lot. Um, another good tip if you're coming through and trying to clear out upstairs before you go into cardboard, you can get a nade pretty far back uh, onto uh, elbow there. So if you get a grenade right up through here, and you can get a grenade right up in here onto our elbow and cardboard. Um, it's gonna either force them out right here. So if you have a two man uh, two man team that you're with, one guy nades those uh, nades the windows in both directions here as you're coming up the stairs, which is either going to flush them out, and you're gonna catch them as you're coming around the corner as they're still running. Spray them up. But by that time, there really should be no one in this general vicinity. You might have to worry about somebody here. Um, but, you know, the nade will push back. I'm not sure where that exploded. So, yeah, you guys can see where the grenade went off. So, you know, we're banking the nade all the way out here. It's landing here. So, in this channel area, you know, making some fragmentation back here. Have a chance of hitting the guy back here, whatever the case may be. Uh, if you're not certain, just go ahead. Toss yourself a nade back there. And uh, you clear out the rest of the guys. Um, so that's pretty much the clear from mid base spiral to hangar that I like to do. And uh, yeah, then we'll get on the red room. So right here you have red room, red arsenal. Uh, it's a good spot to clear. A little bit tricky. Sometimes PMCs will sit right here in the corner. You'll be able to see them. You kind of come on the side of the wall, see them, spray them up. Uh, get a good grenade back here. So if anyone is <laughs> oops, kind of sitting in this area, they'll get slapped up right here. Normally your grenade will sift off right here on one of these shelves right here. You do have a chance for an intelligence folder, a documents folder uh, to get some of that. Red room, violet room. If you watched my previous video, you will know that some pretty extensive loot spawns in here as well as the arsenal storage room key. There's a red cage in there that has some pretty high loot. And then in here is violet. You have the horse statues, sometimes some gold chains. And then on a red rack, red cage right here, you have the chance for like coffins and stuff like that for quests and bartering. Uh, a good tip right here is whenever you're dealing with PMCs, whether you're at the top of arsenal staircase or the bottom, if you're at the top, you can kind of see if somebody's camping right down there and you can just kind of the glass, kind of the glass a little bit and you'll see if they'll get kind of shot, be kind of shook up a little bit. A 
good spot to sit right here on the stairwell on the railing you can kind of see up and get the jump on somebody before they come up and through arsenal stairwell oh also one thing i forgot to show you guys um if you guys were ever pinned and you, you know you got guys waiting out the front side of arsenal you can shoot out that window if they're not watching uh get a quick escape out the window and you know drop down get the quick plank whatever the case may be or just you know wrap around them uh down here we have bunks and bunks l uh, this used to be the spot back in the day where pmcs would kind of camp so a good place for you to kind of go ahead and get a grenade through if that door is open to clear it out it is right here get a grenade in the bunks push through here you'll either have them sitting in a corner here because this will probably protect them from the aid a little bit or they'll be coming around the hill right here a couple spots to be uh, wary about when in, uh, inside of bunks people will sit on side of the safes um, it's kind of hard to get up here people will sit right here and they'll wait for you to come inside I do it sometimes wait for PMTs to throw them off once they get grenades in there uh, throw them off you can sit there you can sit right here on top of these plunks and uh, wait for PMCs to come through that way. Or you can hop up on the beanbag and kind of just chill right here and again wait for PMCs to come through bunk stores from Maine. Um, a lot of times once you hear people hit parking activation, they'll be chilling out upstairs in boiler office up here. So just be aware people once they hit parking activation will sit right back here but you're able to get a good nade in from the middle of main and get it in this general area sometimes you can bank it off and hit the light and it'll bounce right here or you can throw a grenade from the main stairwell and at this corner of all that office and get them from there all right guys so up next we have uh, the dome spawn which has a letic spawn in it possible letic spawn so the dome here is to the right of the manager's office, which is right there. Um, I really don't like to play this office or this area um, because besides the Ledex, to myself personally, I really don't feel like it has any value uh, right here. If it does spawn, you'll have a chance to find the Ledex right there. But um, yeah, this place is just kind of... It's not a good place. <laughs> you, you can get tapped from a lot of different angles, uh, you know, especially if you're running through here, running through there, you can kind of get tapped right through there. And to keep in mind also, all of these like different boxes and stuff will get you killed. So you know, you're able to shoot through here, and kind of get tapped up through there. As you can hear, we just broke some glass. Um, you can see the bullets do go through and they just absolutely pen everything so this is definitely a good place for you to get tapped and kind of killed a good little area i guess to hold right here is if you're trying to not get shot through this angle kind of pick up here and grab the guy that's right there um if anyone's right here i'll raise this area if i hear them healing up or going through the item box or something that's right there the bullets will go through it'll snack you up on this side a little bit and uh, you know if they're like standing up looting you'll kill them pretty easily that way so that's one of the reasons why i really don't like playing this area um coming behind here you can get tapped up to the glass on the top side of the dome and it's just it's not a good time so i would say this is a fairly good area to just quickly do a quick run through to see if you can find a Ledex or something like that but besides that I would personally recommend that you stay away from this area so getting into the next area guys we have the green key card room so the green key card room is a fairly fairly good room to be able to get into and loot and it's also one of the harder rooms on labs to be able to fight in and outside of and I'll tell you guys that why in just a second so immediately as you come in there's a lot of angles that you can get absolutely destroyed from uh, you can have people sitting inside of this room and yes you know you can shoot through this glass you can have people standing on, on the outside of that door excuse me waiting for you uh, you know it's just a lot of angles to be able to clear not even you know a second after walking in 
Uh, once, once you're in though, you will find that this place has some decent loot. You can find an orthoscope right here, sometimes on the shelf. Um, you can find some survival kits and like splints and medicine here on the table, things like that. And going into this room, there's a small items box. You're able to find some small weapon attachments and stuff like that on the shelves, some cases of ammo, uh, more, a couple of uh, injectors and stuff like that inside of this room. Um, but like I said, just fighting in this room in general is a pain in the butt. Um, you know, there's a lot of angles to hold from. Sometimes the second you come out of that room, like I said, you can have the same guy that's right here watching this track you out, watching the door this way. You can have a guy standing right here sidestepping a little bit is you know pretty decent to be able to get a quick peek on the guy that's coming out um, you can have guys directly in the back here standing up on the table kind of watching for you aiming right here standing up on the table straight up just standing right here going prone right here they can be waiting for you this is a really dirty angle you have to watch out for just laying right here prone on the ground do that cut um, you know it has a lot of good medical medical equipment grizzlies and stuff uh, be careful if you're standing in this window you can get tapped by raiders or PMCs through the glass the same goes for managers office in both sets of windows you can get tapped very easy but as you can see you know coming in here we've already found a couple of grizzlies I think that's either three or four grizzlies we found since coming in here right um, a lot of good stuff uh, I've seen a defibrillator spawn right here at the moment in this current build of the game 12.4 they are going for about 340 to 350,000 rubles a piece also within this room there is a ledex spawn in this container right here so this tin looking thing there is a ledex spawn back there uh, there is one more ledex spawn on the map I, I honestly do not recall where that is um, but you know, being able to fight in this room, like I said, is a huge, just nuisance, it's a huge pain. Um, Cause like I said, you do have a lot of angles that you have to be able to hold when entering and also exiting out of the room. A good thing to be able to do is to kinda, like I said, back in main Z, you can kinda watch the little slit out of the door. You can kinda see who's coming out of server spiral on the top floor. You know, sometimes you might be able to go ahead Get yourself a grenade out over the door and clear out that general area when it goes off so you're able to kind of disperse PMCs that might be waiting for you in this area. If there's a guy sitting in janitor over here waiting for you, you know, you might get him to push back inside, give you that second to, you know, kind of assess the situation as you're coming out of the door here and, you know, push off, push back and around, re 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 throw a grenade to buy yourself some more time and move around and stuff like that. Um, that's pretty much it for green room there's a lot of good medical loot in there a lot of good uh, opportunities for you to get some high-end loot ie defibrillator blood x all right so now that we went ahead and we covered green room let's go ahead and cover the opposite side of the basement so we already covered green side in the previous portion of the video i want to go ahead and cover brown so right here going underneath the staircase that's brown stairwell green stairwell underneath manager's office you have a boiler strip um, you can even go as far as to call it, you know, boiler strip green side, boiler strip brown side. Um, but, you know, this green, this is brown, just because of the given color of the lights inside of the, the tunnel. So, right here, brown will take you all the way down to uh, next to the server spiral and the server elevator and server drop down. This is the long corridor that comes from this doorway. And then, right here, you can go into this area which is tube one that takes you down to the sewer extract that way and then like vending machines which is all the way down to the left so right here this is called rock pump um, notice that there is a another pump room that is uh, all the way over there that was turtle or scrubber pump my apologies so coming through here we call the splinter that splinters off back into uh, rock generator and the sewer. So we call this area rock generator right here. Uh, there's really no place for taking this room. Uh, you know, whenever you're coming in, just go ahead, make sure you're washing your corners. Go out, you don't see anything ahead of you. Peek right, uh, quick peeks right. 
can just do it again. Uh, the same thing for whenever you're coming through rock server, you know, just watch your angles. Quick peek left, right, quick peek right, 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 and then you, you, you're in vending right now. So that's how you pretty much do that. Coming on through, you can come on through to rock fence right here because rock stairwell coming from bunks is right up this way. Um, be careful whenever you guys are either coming down, coming down the stairs or you're bending around the corner there. Some PMCs like to just chill right here under the stairs, you know, be pretty crafty and shady. Um, but coming on through, we're going to be coming back into boiler T area to the right. We have the main elevator extract, which is activated by the main elevator activation panel. That's coming on a boiler room. We call this skinny because it's a small little uh, hallway that cuts off, uh, I guess, like the main, main electrical room, which is this room right here. So this is like main electrical room coming through here. You see all the electrical panels and such. Um, I'll show you a quick retake for that room here in a second. But as you can see right here is the activation panel for main elevator. Uh, what I like to do, uh, also be careful guys when coming through, you can kind of get slapped up through the doors here. So just be careful when you're coming around the corner. People like to sit there and watch it. But I know a lot of people that are trying to extract and hold that side of main like to hold this corner right here. They instantly like to hold this corner. So the second you're coming in, you're really not going to be able to engage them unless you have a really short SMG or something. Because the second you go to look at them, you're just your gun pushes right up against you. So what I like to do is I like to push with the door. I like to open it, and as it's opening, I sprint to this side, so that way I'm on this side, and you know I have a little bit of a fair advantage to lace up the guy that's right there. He's dealt with. Quick sprint in, and I peek left. You know, assess the situation. Come on through. Clear out the rest of the rooms. Uh, as you're coming out of main electrical, some people like to sit right here. Um, some people like to sit on this box. Be aware if you're sitting on this box and you do have targets engaging you from the main activation you can get your legs slapped out from underneath you through the door um, i don't know how well it works with the new strength and endurance but uh, before i was uh, elite level strength and endurance like i am now and uh, people like to sit back here and they like to just wait and they will sit behind the pipes and they'll kind of crouch and they'll just kind of aim like this and spray you down head level and then all they have to do is just jump out uh, if it's possible to jump out from that spot right there and then that's pretty much the entirety of the basement guys so from this point we're going to go ahead i'm going to go over the activation panels for the different portions of the map and then we're going to go over the all right guys so the first extract and activation that we have is hangar activation uh, now this one's a little bit tricky um, sometimes it does and doesn't spawn on but if you hit this um, you're gonna hear um, the announcement come on that the hangar area is being activated and opened and then you will have some raiders come out of the garage bay door there and you'll have to kill them you can take the loot and if you walk up inside there will be uh, the extracts on both left and right sides of the hangar so running on through the next extract that we're going to be hitting up is the parking extract. So parking extract and hangar extract are the two main extracts used to pretty much get out. They're the two biggest ones in the game. Uh, yellow room is right there. You, if you have the yellow key card, it's going to silence the announcement that parking is activated. Um, and, you know, typically you shouldn't have raiders but you know it's still in beta and there might be a chance that the game glitches out and uh, you get raiders but you know you hit this activation you're gonna hear the announcement come on and then you'll hear the alarm uh, please note that whenever you guys are hitting the yellow key card the alarm for the garage door just like the beeping here will still happen but the announcement will no longer come on so Got a couple of got a couple of raiders with a throw slice up on, um, and yeah, you walk up there, and there's the extract. It's the same way for hangar. Hangar does not have a deactivation. Um, <laughs> uh, 
so that's that extract and if you want to hear the sound again um, I will play it for uh, play it for you guys here again shortly uh, the next extract that we're gonna hit up is main so main extract is right here you come to the left the boiler T you see the broken elevator to the left the boiler electrical and it's right here so this activation panel right here is what activates boiler main So right here, we'll call the elevator. Boom. You'll hear the elevator start coming down. And that is your main elevator extract for labs. Uh, for the next one, we're going to run on over. And then we're going to hit the elevator cargo and elevator drop down extracts. Slight detour. We'll, <laughs> we'll check out the uh, server elevator one first. So you're gonna come down brown here. This is gonna bring you to the uh, corridor for the servers here. Um, right here, you got server drop down. Uh, there's no announcement for this. You just kind of slap it, and you go to the cargo elevator. Please note that also the cargo elevator in 12.4 is a little bit broken and I'm going to show you guys the way to access the elevator once it comes down. Um, so in the beginning, uh, at the end of this portion, I will show you guys the announcements and for what extracts they all go to so that way you guys can start to mentally know what panels are being activated and where PMCs are. So in 12.4 they kind of broke the elevator or at least online they did. And whenever you try to walk in, it kind of pushes you back. So you have to press the button and then kind of lean either E or Q, left or right, and kind of keep walking into the elevator as it pushes you out. Um, so right here, this is in cage room. We have the medical cargo elevator activation. And like you'll see right here, uh, right here, there will be an announcement. So as you can hear, she said G, this is area G right here, which is the cargo elevator activation for second floor. So we'll go up there in just a second. Coming through here, oh, no, sometimes also guys, real quick, once you activate like elevator and medical, it will spawn raiders out here, like you can probably hear them pivoting and stuff uh, out this way. Um, Backpack extract is right here. If you don't have a backpack like we covered earlier in the video, you'll start to extract right here. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Damn, almost got slapped up bro. <laughs> um, let me fix that real quick. <laughs> blacked out arms blacked out so yeah once you guys activate that uh, Raiders will have a chance to spawn back there um, so we'll come up here and as you can see the medical cargo activation is ready to go for the elevator you hit that and then you can extract there and then we'll go down and we'll cover the other last extract which will be sewer now sewer is coming out of brown um, <laughs> just know I jumped really hard with that one <laughs> um, but coming on through here right, we gotta go through brown and go through the tubes and then you can come down through here 
on sewer. And you're going to come all the way around here through the bend, follow the bend out, the activation for sewer is right here. You hit that. You will wait for the water to drain. Oh, it's opening out again. And once you're here, you will typically wait right here. Uh, the sewer. You gotta wait for the water to drain out, and then you'll be able to extract with whatever gear you want. Now, typically, sewer is one of the more safe um, escape routes. Excuse me. Um, but it is one that does take quite some time, as you can see the water is trying to, having to drain out and such, so it is a bit of a, a pain in the butt. But you will stand right in this general area once the water drains out, and you'll start extracting. Alright guys, so like I said, I'm going to be taking you guys through and how to hear the different types of extracts for the certain locations. So I'm going to go ahead and go to each one and then just play the sound clip so that way you, you don't get as much interference from a lot of the other noises and you can clearly hear the sound that she makes so that way you know where players are during each activation. Внимание охране! Несанкционированные действия в секторе Y11. Внимание охране! Несанкционированные действия в секторе B11. Внимание охране! Несанкционированные действия в секторе G. Внимание персоналу! Лифты в секторе R введены в строй. So now that you guys have the gist and the understanding on how to play labs, how to kind of move around, how to pay attention to the callouts, play the PMCs, uh, some lootable areas and stuff like that, it's now time for you guys to get in the labs, learn some things, apply the knowledge, and reap the rewards guys if you really really appreciate it and enjoyed the content today guys go ahead please leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel for more content i try to release eft content weekly guys it has been an absolute awesome and a pleasure informing you guys on how i play tarkov and how i play labs uh, i will be releasing a reserve loot guide and a map guide for that map here shortly in the coming week or so so guys have a safe rest of your weekend and I will see you guys later.